Okay, so I'm just going to show how to install the WT or Witty uh, library using pretty much the default um, setup. Uh, so first off, uh, you need to ensure that you have a functioning uh, C++ compiler. In my case, I'm going to use Microsoft's uh, Visual C++ 2008 Express Edition. So make sure you install that, make sure it's working first. Okay. So this one's mine. And then you need to download the Witty library itself. Uh, the boost library setup file. Now this one is actually from Boost Pro. So I got it from Boost Pro. Uh, so if you notice it's a very small file, it's actually just a setup. Uh, it actually goes off and to the internet and download everything uh, once you finish the selection process. And then the CMake open source make utility. Okay, so first off, is that you need to copy or rather uh, extract the the archive, the WT archive, into a folder somewhere. So I'm going to put it uh, in here. Okay, so if I were to go in here, yes, there they are. They're fine. Take that away. So next thing you do is to run the Boost Pro setup uh, program. So here we go. Run. Uh, well, you have to agree to the various licensing agreement. Okay, I'm just going to keep this as default. And I choose my Visual C++ compiler, which is this one here. And I'll choose all the multi-threaded variants of the Boost library. Okay, just uh, move on. So this is my destination folder. Okay. So notice it's going to download about one gigs worth of of the library. Uh, from Boost Pro means it's pre-compiled. So it's already pre-compiled. There's no need for you to recompile the Boost library. So it, this will include all the pre-compiled uh, version of the variants you chose earlier. Okay, so so what's gonna do now is gonna go off and connect to the internet and download the selection that you made. So that's gonna take some time. Well as you can see it it uh, does take quite some time because it's a quite a huge library. So in in my case the, the connection speed is not very fast so it's just taking so long.